Hello students, so myself Mehul Kuria from LT Institutes of Engineering and Technology. So in last session we derived equation of the element stiffness matrix, nodal vector and displacement vector. So in today's session we have to derive equation of the stress with respect to displacement and strain with respect to displacement. So in today's session we have to discuss this topic strain displacement and stress displacement relationship for one dimensional element okay so in today's session we have to derive equation of stress and strain in terms of displacement using this same function now we already derived a relationship between global coordinate system and local coordinate system like zeta zeta is equal to 2 tan x minus x1 upon x2 minus x1 minus 1 we already derived that relation and already we derived equation of same function n1 and n2 n1 means 1 minus zeta by 2 and n2 means 1 plus zeta by 2. So we already dis uh, discussed that theory in previous uh, session. So we have to apply this theory over here. Using the same function, the element strain nodal displacement and element stress nodal displacement relationship are established in subsequent section like element strain nodal displacement relationship. So uh, the strain at any point t within one dimensional element is given by epsilon is equal to del u upon del x. Now as you all know what is the equation of uh, strain that is change in length upon original length so del u upon del x. Now in using chain rule of displacement you can write down epsilon is equal to del u upon del zeta into del zeta upon del x. This is the chain rule of differentiation. Okay. Now we have equation of u as well as equation of zeta. So we have to find out separate value of del u upon del zeta and del zeta upon del x. Okay. After that we have to put this that value over here. So this is the equation number one. Okay. Now from the equation of zeta, now we already derived this equation of zeta is equal to two times x minus x one upon x two minus x one minus one. Now using that equation we have to differentiate this equation with respect to x. So del zeta upon del x. So we, we differentiate this equation in, uh, in terms of x. That means uh, except variable of x like x1 and x2 all the variable we have to consider as a constant. Okay. So in this equation 2 times x minus x1 upon x2 minus x1 minus 1. So minus 1 that is the constant value so differentiation of constant value is 0 that you all know. So minus 1 uh, is neglect from this equation. Now 2 upon x2 minus x1 that is constant clear. So 2 in, in denominator x2 minus x1 because we differentiate this equation with respect to x. x1 x2 and x1 consider as a constant value. So 2 times x2 minus x1 we have to take as a common. And we have to differentiate x minus x1. So what is the differentiation of x? That is 1. As you all know. That is uh, x. x means only a power of x. That is 1. So 1 into x in power 1 minus 1. So power of x is 0. And if x raised to 0 that means 1. Okay. So differentiation of x. That is 1. Minus x1. So minus x1 is also constant value. So that is the differentiation of minus x1 also 0. So above equation if you differentiate with respect to x and this equation converted in the form like del zeta upon del x is equal to 2 in denominator x2 minus x1. Okay. Where x2 minus x1 indicate length of the element that already we discussed. Here yeah. x2 minus x1 indicate length of that is equation number 2. Again from the equation u is equal to n1, n2, u1, u2. That equation we already derived. Okay. Now what is the safe function? So del u upon del x. So above you are using this equation del u upon del x. Now we have to differentiation with uh, equation with respect to x. Here yeah, or with respect to zeta. So del u upon del zeta is equal to del n1 upon del zeta, del n2 upon del zeta and u1, u2. Now we already know that what is the value of n1 and n2 in terms of zeta that is 1 minus zeta upon 2 and 1 plus zeta upon 2. So you, we have to put that value over here. So del upon del zeta instead of n1 we have to put 1 minus zeta by 2 minus del upon del zeta instead of n1 we have to put 1 plus zeta by 2 u1 u2 uh, 
uh, we have to take as a set. So now del upon del zeta and we have to differentiate 1 minus zeta by 2. So 1 by 2 we have to take as a common 1 minus zeta. So differentiation of 1 that is 0 because 1 is a constant and differentiation of minus zeta that is minus 1. So answer of for differentiation of 1 minus zeta by 2 that is minus 1 by 2. And 1 plus zeta by 2 so in this case 1 by 2 we have to take as a common differentiation of 1 that is 0 and differentiation of zeta that is 1. So 0 plus 1 that is 1. So differentiation of 1 plus zeta by 2 that is 1 by 2. Okay. So in next step we have to write down that is a minus 1 by 2, 1 by 2 and in next matrix that is 1 u. So final equation of del u upon del zeta is equal to now we have to take 1 by 2 as a common. So 1 by 2 in bracket minus 1, 1, u1, u2 that is equation number 3. Okay, so now we derive equation of del u upon del zeta and del zeta upon del x. So we have to put equation value of equation 2 and equation 3 in equation number 1. Okay. So substitute equation 2 and 3 in equation number 1 like this. So epsilon is equal to means that is strain. So we have to put value of equation 2 and 3 in equation number 1. Then equation number 1 converted in the form like this 1 by 2 minus 1 1 u1 u2 into 2 times x2 minus x1. So 2 from denominator and numerator 2 will cancel out. So 1 upon x2 minus x1 minus 1 1 u1 u2. Now instead of x2 uh, that is the epsilon is equal to b into u. Now b value of b that is 1 upon x2 minus x1 minus 1 1. Just uh, for the simplified uh, that equation we consider a uh, one uh, variable as a b b is equal to 1 upon x2 minus x1 into minus 1 1. So epsilon is equal to element straight and we derive equation of the element straight. u is equal to u1 u2 is equal to element nodal vector. b is equal to 1 upon x2 minus x1 minus 1 1. That is element straight nodal displacement matrix. And b is equal to 1 upon l minus 1 1. Because x2 minus x1 indicate length of element that we already discussed in uh, relationship between local coordinate system and global coordinate system, we already derived this relationship. Clear? So x2 minus x1 because x1 is the distance of node 1 from reference axis, x2 means distance of node 2 from reference axis. So x2 minus x1 indicates the length of element. Clear? So this means the 1 upon L minus 1. Now, next element strain nodal displacement relationship. Yes, stress and nodal displacement. The stress at any point P within the one dimensional element is given by sigma is equal to that is the hook slope. Sigma is equal to E into epsilon. Clear? So sigma is equal to stress of element, E indicates modulus of elasticity of element, epsilon indicates strain of element. Okay, so from equation 4 we get now we put value of epsilon over here. So sigma is equal to E B U M. Okay, so element strain nodal displacement matrix B is constant and strain as well as stress are constant within the elements. Okay, so this is the relationship between stress, strain, and displacement. Okay, so this is the derivation of a uh, uh, equation of stress and strain in terms of displacement. So, in next session, we have to solve some numerical based on structural problem or spring problem. Thank <laughs> you.